Good morning everyone. Now today we are going to be doing calculations with mass. Um, and as you know at the top here, remember this is very important to always remember this, that you always convert kilograms and grams to grams before you start with your calculation. So here we've got kilograms and grams minus 7 kilograms, 500 grams minus 5 grams, 5 kilograms, 800 grams. Now we need to convert each of these pieces here, this part of the sum and that, into grams and this part into grams. So let us begin now. All right, so let's go here to 7 kilograms. Now we have to convert this part to grams. And so remember how we've done it before, we learned it before, that we have to times 7 by 1,000. That's right. So then it will be 7,000 grams and 500 grams. We're going to add that on. Plus 500 grams. And then we're going to put those together. And then we will have 7,500 grams. There we go. And now we go to the second part over here. We're going to add on, um, no, we're not adding on, sorry, we're minusing this time. We're going to be doing minus. Okay, so we've got five kilograms here. And remember, to convert kilograms to grams, we have to multiply the kilogram by 1,000. That's right. So five times 1,000 gives us then 5,000. We're going to have 5,000 grams. We're going to add that um, 800 grams on. And so we're going to put it over here, 800 grams. Um, then we're going to put our 5,000 and our 800 together. So we get 5,800. Okay, so now we can start our sum. I'm actually going to write it here so that we can see it more clearly. 7,500 grams. And we're going to then minus 5,800 grams. There we go. All right. So now let us start with our uh, units. Of course, we will start with our units. We say zero minus zero minus zero is still zero. Zero minus zero is still zero. Then we look at our five minus eight. We know that can't go. We have to borrow from our seven. That becomes a six. And one ten goes there next to the five, making fifteen minus 8. 15 minus 8 is 7, and 6 minus 5 is 1. So we've got 1,700 grams. Remember, we need to convert that back to kilograms and grams if we are asked to do so. So we'll do that now. So we've got 1,700 grams over here, and remember we're going to be using, we're going to count from the left, right, to the left, 1, to three places to the left, and here's our thousand. We know that then we've got one kilogram because one thousand grams gives us one kilogram. So we've got one kilogram, and how many grams left? 700 grams. There we go. So our answer then is one kilogram and 700 grams. So I want you to please do all of today's work. In the same way, remember, very important to always convert your kilograms and grams to grams before you, con before you begin your calculations. Okay, I hope you will have fun today.